What do you say, baseball fans? Rye Bread Talking Baseball, episode 70. Rays drop one in extras after a battle. They battle back, but it wasn't enough. And the Rays still maintain their position as the number one power ranking team, but that's kind of hollow. It hurts this team that Glasnow's going down. But Shane Baz is on the way. There's help down there. Patino's down there. I was all doom and gloom about it yesterday, but I wanted to make sure that we had some positive spin here. I'm moving to Florida to cover the Rays. I'm doing it. I'm moving down to Florida with my wife and kid to cover the Rays. I still believe in this team, clearly. We're building a house down there, and we're going to be doing our show starting this weekend from Florida. Tomorrow is going to be our last Michigan show for a while. So with that note, we're taking the Tigers tonight. Not to win. That number is crazy. It's a plus 170 for the Tigers to beat Shohei and the Angels. But the first five under in that game is four and a half. And I think he can hold the Angels to three runs. Shohei maybe gives up a run or something to the Tigers. But, man, Shohei's been good. And the Tigers don't scare me. So that first five under... You can hopefully take the bullpen out of the equation for both the Tigers and the Angels, and then you wind up with Manning against Otani. Now, Manning, his ERA is like 8 at AAA, and you're like, why are you taking this guy? He's been working on the changeup down there. He needs that third pitch. And I think everybody just knew it was coming. From what I, I haven't watched game film on Manning this year from Toledo, but everybody knows he's trying to work on his changeup. I think people were sitting on it. His whip was like 1.5, but his strikeout's more than a, a guy in innings still with that. He's a big dude, 6'6", 200, big fastball, and I mean big. And if we're going no stick him, the big velocity, Velo is going to be the king again. It's going to play like it was ever not. But his big curveball was what got him, his two-pitch mix. He had the big fastball and the big curveball, the hammer, and projected as a front-line strikeout ace pitcher. And we're going to see him tonight. And the Angels don't scare me that much. So the number isn't accounting for Manning's prospect pedigree and the fact that his numbers have been bad this year because of working on that changeup. I just think... This is a cheap one. It's plus 102 for the under, so I'm in it. And we got Detroit Roots, so we're doing it. And then Jays and Yankees. It's a bullpen game, and it's pretty much a coin flip. We got Jays minus 109. What about watching that series makes you think that the Jays and the Yankees have comparable lineups? In a bullpen game, Chapman pitched last night. It's not like the Yankees haven't been going to the bully. King and Zook, the hard thrower uh, German guy for Toronto, is going to open. And I don't know how many King's going to get, maybe three, four. But still, it's a basically a bullpen game. And Toronto's lineup is just terrifying. And I love watching them unless they're playing the Rays. Big fan. We got a big case break going this afternoon. We snuck in. They're opening a two cases like 32 box 32 hobby box uh case break today and i was the first to bet on vlad and the bet stayed at 299 the whole time because everybody said oh man i'm not going to touch that one because it would be too high and i got it for three bucks nobody bid it i was the only bid and it's like a 32 hobby box break of vladdy so i am super pumped we got phillips patino a bunch of uh, prospecty guys. We'll have a card report tomorrow. Hopefully, a good one. We got a bunch of Wander and a bunch of Baz and a break yesterday too. Shane Baz was supposed to be the big marquee piece in that Archer trade, and he's not even here yet. It was supposed to be Glasnow and Baz. Meadows was the throw-in. Ha ha ha! Laughing all the way to the bank. It's an embarrassment of riches if Baz comes up in place of Glasnow. And just runs it here for 60 or 70 innings late and goes, say, I don't know, four and two with a three ERA or something and carries them like enough. You don't have to have them carry, but enough to contribute. 
Honeywell Jr., Patino, McCabe. There's guys that can come up and contribute. It would have been great with the stability of Glasnow at the top. But the way the Rays do it, they're going to do it even more so. You're going to see guys doing 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Nobody in the other lineup is going to get a second look past the fifth inning. Past the fourth inning. <laughs> so we're going to stay on the Rays. We're, still, we're moving house to go down and cover this team. Hopefully we can get some credentials, a little cart before the horse. But it's Hill against Dunn. I mean, what are you going to say against Hill? The overcorrection kind of happened to his stats last game out, and he's just been good. So there's no reason for me to doubt Rich Hill tonight against the Mariners. We do like Dunn. The curveball of Dunn, when he's got it under control, he's a, a nasty one. But he's had trouble finding the plate at times. We've watched two games with Dunn went the whole way, and one was good, one was bad. So he's a little young and inconsistent, but that's what you get. I think the Rays win this game, but man, there's some... Hangover, I think, in that clubhouse with what the news has been on Glasnow. And just the way that it came about, you just feel so robbed about it. You feel so, just like it was taken from you. And Major League Baseball has some explaining to do. The owners control Manfred. And he's going to end up getting all the heat for this. But right now, they're putting on the players. They're blaming Glasnow. Like, oh, you candy asses can't throw the baseball? Like, give me up. Oh, uh, I was old guy baseball with the bat flipping and stuff to begin with, but I'm not playing, so I got over it. But this stuff is just, oh man, if somebody smarter than me should have said something at the time. Like, look, man, it's going to hurt somebody. Maybe from the first place team, but nobody wants to see the Rays in the World Series anyway because of the small market baloney. But I'm not saying that has anything to do with it. I'm just saying it was a poorly thought out decision. And anybody who says different is an idiot. Look at the proof, and he's not going to be the first one, which is sad. And they're not, still going to keep it this way because they can't go back on it now because then they open themselves up to that lawsuit I think that Glasnow should pursue anyway. But we don't want to We don't want to stay too negative. Remember, go into Florida. You might check me out at Old Bascom's Chop House. We might get a remote from Old Bascom's Chop House. Fill my fat belly. And then, of course, we're going to do some remotes from Fishtails out there in Homosassa. Great times out there, Fishtails Homosassa. And if you're feeling that getaway dream and you want to take that vacay, don't forget Shargo Island, Philippines, the place you want to be. Bravo Beach Resort's awesome. Pirate Castle, not too shabby. Lots of great places out there. Get with me if you really want some information on that. We'll be back again tomorrow for our last Michigan show. We're going to do 162.